Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Uh, Alright. Welcome to Cut the Tape. This is our holiday episode, our very special episode. Every holiday season, it's important to treat yourself. Not just to remember the people you love and people who are less fortunate, but take a little time to appreciate you. So this holiday season, I used my wife's credit card to appreciate me. So I thought we'd do something we've never done before on the show. I got a big box here from one of my preferred vendors that I thought I'd open and uh, see what's inside. I completely forgot what's inside. This box is from Big Bad Toy Store. Big, huge box. Big box. How big is the box? It's a big, it's, a, it's so heavy I can't even lift it. It's a big box. But I got a couple other treats for myself. You know, you always have to have a contingency plan in case you're not sure what's gonna be under the tree. My wife is notorious for not getting me any Transformers. And that's fine. She, uh, she does without realizing. But uh, before we get to, to my pile of loot, I did pick up these guys, which are great. Spinister and Crosshairs. Who would ever thought we'd get a Crosshairs like this? I mean, this is just like, I mean, we just need Target Masters and it'd be perfect. Who would ever thought we'd get a Crosshairs like that? That's beautiful. I got this from my buddy Morgan. It's the Loyal Subjects Mirage, or Meregi, as it's correctly pronounced. This is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from 2015. It's an all-black Mirage. There's a better picture of it. All right, so on to the pile of loot. I shipped this box from Big Bad Toy Store without really knowing what was inside. So, uh, since school was canceled today, and since work was canceled, I've got two helpers with me. I've got Casey and Maddie. Uh, they're the only two daughters I know that I have. I think two's enough. Uh, Casey wants you to know that she's eight. Uh, you're eight years old? And Maddie, how old are you? You're like gotta be three five you're five now wow all right let's see what's in this box and then we'll decide maybe i'll let the girls decide which one of these we're going to open it's a big box big box big box first of all we have a bag of little stuff i remember what these are you know every now and again big bad toy store does some amazing clearances and you get to pick up a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Transformers United Superion coin. I think that was like two bucks. Masterpiece Tracks one. I don't even know if I have this or not. I think I think I have some of these. Red Alert, but you know, these were so cheap. Red Tracks, Road Rage, Ravage. That I just had to like, you know what? I gotta get them. MP18 plus box. I don't know what this is. Oh, streak pin. I don't know what that is. Oh, is that, did I get, did I get a masterpiece figure? I did. Oh, I got MP18 plus and it's got a little pin and there's a little pin for MP45. Who's MP45? Bumblebee maybe? Uh, you know what? Everyone's, you know, we've seen this a million times. I got a million of these open. And I got the, uh, the infamous Metroplex, uh, cord and cable holder. That was also a clearance. Uh, let's see what this little pin is. I don't know 
what this is. Oh, look at that. It's like, oh, look at that. That's so cool. That is a little pin. It looks like the Matrix of Leadership with a smoke stream or a blue streak having that. That's very cool. I didn't even know it came with that. That's a nice little surprise. For So MP18, we've got a bunch of that, so that's off the table. Look, I think this is a bumblebee. Girls love bumblebee, right? No. Yes. No. Uh, what else we got? We got Hope Shot or Hot, hot Shot. One? Yeah, we're going to open them. We're going to yeah. see what's in, and we got to see what's in the pile of loot. And then Can we're gonna... we play it one? Uh, we'll, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Yay! <laughs> we got Power Dasher. This is, uh, I actually already had this. This is a repeat. Uh, oh, we got another masterpiece. We got Jay's Jazz. We got Jazz, Masterpiece Jazz. I'm pretty far behind on my Masterpiece figures. I still need uh, Ironhide and uh, Barricade. And I got Blue Lobster. This is, I think this is the one we should open. This guy's name is Blue Lobster. Can I show it? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna open this. Yeah, I think we should open Blue Lobster. Blue Lobster is the masterpiece version of um, Autobot Spike, or it's X Frank. Yeah. Oh no, the company is Blue Lobster. The character's name is X Frank. Will you open that? So, Can I help you open that? Can I here, why, that? why don't you play with that? Play with that and be over there somewhere. Oh, this is fun. I got the Autobot version of Idwa Megatron. Idwa. Um, a lot of people call it IDW, it's actually pronounced Edwa. So we got this model kit, and I've been all over these model kits, but now they're gonna like start making the figures and selling the model kits assembled, so it's like, uh, should I, should I still open these? I got another model kit. This is a shattered glass model kit. So about shattered glass, shattered glass started with Bacon. And it was actually Brian Savage's idea. And then it was my idea to put uh, To All Are Gone on there. So that's my, that was my little contribution. Well, I worked on that whole set. It's part of the box collection. Oh, we got another cool thing here. This is uh, Amazing Optimus Prime. It's like a Revil Tech figure. That looks pretty cool. Optimus Prime is back. And this time we end it once and for all. That's what it says. That's what it says. This is very G1. Very G1 animated, like season two inspired. Oh, we got something that's not Transformers. Alien 3. I'm a big alien fan. And we got the dog alien. Put that over there. <coughs> Let's see. We got. X Transbox, killing it. X Transbox, it's killing it with these uh, Stunicons. This is Monolith. Oh, this is Deathwish. Deathwish. This is a G2 version of Dead End. Daddy. They're killing it. They're killing it. All right. We also got reformatted uh, Eb Ebrius and Gravis. I I'm not sure how to say those names, but these are... Um, like uh, Last Stand of the Records inspired guys. Um, Braun is the obvious uh, retool here. Um, this is fun too. Everything Mastermind Creations has done, it's, it's just been, it's just been a pleasure to open. It's just been a, a true work of art. I love it. Well, we got another model kit in here. This is Skywarp. This is Skywarp. This is, uh, just like the Shattered Glass one, this is uh, very stylized, very stylized, less up to the artist to uh, decipher. I don't know what this is. What is this? This is Optimus Prime. I have no idea what this is. Op Classics Optimus Prime Scale. 
Girl, I don't know what this is. Should we open this? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what this is. Daddy, can you search for this? No. No, I can't. All right, let's cut the tape on this. It's a brown generic box. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you know what? I remember what this is. I'm, I'm kind of surprised at what this. All right, so here's the box. It's got uh, some. What um, the? Yeah, it's got some foam corners here to protect it. If I recall, this is a statue. Yes. Classic scale. Cell shaded statue. Now, cell shading. This is this is another part where like the fandom hobby third party world has influenced real official products. So, I would say Combiner Wars is a direct has a direct correlation to third party figures. Uh, I would say cell shading, which is where it's made to look like an animation uh, cell. Uh, so like. Uh, what would it look like on on TV in a cartoon? That style painting. Uh, that's uh, shell cell shading. There's no tape on this, but there's a neat little card, and it says I got number 802 out of 2,000. Uh, oh, so inside there's a, there's like a little handle here for me to pull out. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There are gloves. How beautiful. There are gloves for you to handle the figure with. Oh, my God. These are little cotton gloves. That. Oh, that's. I mean, even if you don't need them, it's still. That's still pretty awesome. I can't think of any Transformers item that's ever come with gloves. Oh, all right, so this is this is uh, tightly packed. Uh, nice, nice. Uh, what is the best? Uh, you know what? Oh, is it Velcro? Oh, look at that! Look at that! It's Velcro. And uh, it's tape. All right, so the Velcro holds it in place, and it's got a second layer of protection. Tape. Oh, this is special. Girls, I'm glad you can be here for this. Remember, girls, when I die, this will all be yours. Even that? Yes, even this. You know what? You might have to bury me in this one, though. Even the Christmas Ooh. tree? Well, and, and don't think of me as being overly negative. It's a little smaller than I anticipated. I thought this was going to be on par with Heart Hero statues. So, let's take this out. Oh, I love statues. I love statues. There's so many Transformer statues I wish I can get. But they're, you know, $1,000, $5,000, $3,000. It's just not going to happen. So there's got some, uh, some silica gel packets in here to that? protect it. It keeps the moisture out. What's moisture? Moisture is like water. Okay, so we have our gloves on. I'm gonna take the base out. <laughs> and here on the bottom, number 802 of 2000. Would have been would have been cool if they did like 2005. All right. So a lot of statues come in pieces. Very. Very nice. There is a lot of paint on here. All right, so there is a metal tab here, and that metal tab fits into the space. The base is in the form of an Autobot symbol. 
we have an arm, an axe, and we also have an arm with a gun. Hang on, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So here. Oh, and look, there's little magnets. So little magnets. Diamond started doing that with their statues. Dad, for the Transformer statues. Why is there three hands? Why so that you can okay, so the reason there's three hands, we'll put the we'll put the head on. The head also has a magnet to keep it in place. So the reason there's three, there's an extra hand is because you can change it from having an arm with an axe to an arm with a blaster. Which do you like more, the blaster or the energy axe? Blaster. Blaster. And okay, oh, I like the blaster too. So you've been out, outvoted. Oh, that is nice. That is very nice. Look at that. Ooh, that is nice. What is that? I, I think the, the thing about it is that the gloves make the whole experience that much more exciting. Should we open this? Mm -hmm. All right, Casey, you gonna take this? I want You gotta take. You gotta take the knife, Casey. I want to do it. Take the knife. Okay. You're gonna cut the tape. Oh, you've cut the tape successfully. Now, Casey, so I take the, the back end of the blade, all right? This is the part that's not sharp, okay? This part is sharp, this part is not. I take the back end, the not sharp part, and I put it against the flap of the box so that I can open the box without creating a crease here. Yeah, but how do you know which one is sharp and which one is Well, you can tell by looking at it. See, there's that line there? That's sharp. That's the sharp part. The don't don't tell mom that I was opening this with a knife on her leather ottoman. All right. So we've got X Frank Autobot X, and he's got form-fitting plastic sleeve. He's got tape. All right, Maddie. You have to take this the lid off this. Okay. All right. Just take the lid off of it. There you go. There you go. All right. I keep the knife. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, so this is this is not what I expected. This is a very limited in articulation figure. So, hang on. So it's got looks like one, two, three, four five points of articulation. That's, I mean, this is basically a statue. This is like a large PVC figure. I'm asking something. What do you want to ask? <laughs> See, you knocked the camera down. Daddy loves Transformers. Okay, that's not a question. So this is x Frank. I mean, this is Masterpiece scale. I mean, for, you know what? I understand that the lack of articulation this is, after all, uh, a figure that doesn't transform. I mean, it has no f possible way it could transform. What would it transform for? Transform into, you know, a hot mess. So, um, interesting. I thought it would be fully articulated for some reason. Maybe it was in the description that it, I didn't notice it. I mean, I'm I'm happy I got it. I'm happy I got it. It just like even in the picture, it looks like it's standing up. To, uh, might be manipulated. So, I can tell by the sound of Ripley's crying, it's time to go out or the mailman is here. So, we're going to bring this video to a close. Casey and Maddie, thank you for helping me. Alright. Do you want to Do you want to wave so you can be on, on camera? Oh yeah, I can. I have to go the other way. She has to go the other way. Alright. No, yeah, don't, yeah, go, there you go, okay, okay, bye, <laughs> Maddie, do you want to say Merry Christmas to everyone, Happy Holidays, yeah. and Happy New Year, and uh, Happy New Year. have a good 2020, Happy 
Uh, take care. Bye.